Okay, sudden impact, which is the third mission I will now be recording. Um, Move that because I want that. Dude, your computer's broke. Fine, ignore me. Alright. Uh, I'm going to put the silence on it and the reflex on it. No, I'm not going to put the silence on it. Um, shotgun, I only really use when I'm in a sticky situation where I've got about three or four guys all shooting at me. They all know exactly where I am. I just put out the shotgun. I wanted to walk across there. Oh, I still can. Let's go. Should hopefully get hit by a car and kill. Wait for it. No! He's in completely wrong position, that's not good. Oh, yeah, now you go there once the car's come down. Completely down. Uh, thank you. The cooperation is much appreciated. Uh, I think I have another unskippable tutorial here. There is some weird shit going down in this city, and those sure is. That's a good way to skip it all. And Trono is tactical options available. This is the whole 
using the wall for cover and scanning for people. Haven't got an eye on the primary target. Come on! I don't know what the other people are doing. There's usually quite a few more people than this. that guy up on the roof up there. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, you're quite, quite close as well. Birds. Hmm. Mouse seems to be a bit jumpy on the movement at the moment. A bit harder. It won't get to the point where I need to use my shotgun in this one. Okay, um, to talk about some of the freedom of this level, as you can see I could go around through the sewers and all that good stuff. Um, so many other stuff I could do, I can do now, is I can either go this way to reach the objective, or I can go around that way. Um, I'm going to do a bit of both, I'm going to go this way, the way I'm pointing first, to the um, explore marker. Um, if I go this way, I, it then opens up a couple more options on ways I can go, which I'll show you when I get to them. But what I'm going to do, once I've done that, I'm also going to come back. Go 
gonna come on, move around and line my sight. No. That was a bit sloppy, but I don't know. Okay, now they're not, no, they're not underneath the map. There's a little uh, ramp there that goes down into a car park. Um, you can access the uh, objective through that car park if you really want to. There's no hope now I was going to get that, I don't know why I even fired. charge so that guy up there on the machine gun no, no, no I'm not in the wall today and the last guy walking around Under fire! oh no two more spawned um that is the you annoying know, feature with uh, crisis 2 it might seem like the enemies are respawning and well they are but um from my understanding of it with Clandon 3, to help make the frames higher, it spawns less enemies at once. Which means the enemies work on sort of a respawn respawning system. Guys, I'm gonna tag them for later on. Then. I'm gonna be here forever. Right. 
Jump over you fool. Going here and get the souvenir. Boom. And now I'm going to go back this way. Well, I'll try not to get seen. Continue going this way. Um, this is a tactic I've used before. And it did prove quite effective at the time. So let's see how it goes, shall we? Looks like they bailed before impact. Check the escape pods. We're looking for tissue samples, dead crew, anything like that. He's the first guy I'm going to kill. Let my suit charge and might as well reload. Oh, where is he going? Does not compute. Hmm. Interesting. This is why, in a way, I hate sandbox games. The enemies are just so unpredictable sometimes, but then it's also what makes them fun. So he's making his way up by the looks. No, he's not. Well, he's going to be making his way up, so. We're not a suit charge. Hmm, didn't mind actually meant to do that, but it's still kind of awesome. Whoops. You move forward just like us to do a stealth kill. Right, so I'm just going to go here and make sure no one's respawned. Well, now, where's he going?
Jordan. You've also got a nice sniper hole here, if you really wanted to use it. One man left on a machine gun and we can land, land on the over there. I'll deal with the guy on the machine gun. Shit, in a minute. Come over and see it. Down into on, the wreckage. Thank you. That dude on a machine gun, where are you? There you are. Yeah, we're gonna get a rocket launcher. Robin, you have to get inside there and sample the wreckage. We're looking for dead crew, any genetic material you can find. find a way to find the That's the first time it survives on rocket. Problem because now I know that I'm there, which means I have to move out quick. Shit. Right now, now I've got two options, I can either ignore them. Um, the objective, so I can kill him. Under fire! No! Please respond. Choose to kill him. Right. There's one. Down. Oh, I can get to him. Like jump over the fucking head, you idiot. God, it's like playing with a bloody five year old. <sighs> Dear me, you can't get to any of these boots. They're all hiding. completely changed the last I saw it.
Well, last time I played this level, there was one. I never realised that there wasn't one up there. When I come up. Just completely different. Right, okay, let's go. Visor and press F. Oh, Jesus. That's human tissue. Uh, nothing really interesting around here. People just melted down. Look, without actual alien body tissue, we're wasting our time. Just get out of there. Right, now we first come across the aliens. And this is what I've been saving the shotgun for. So the reason I went into cloak before doing so is because I'm still cloaked now. Right. Somewhere there is an enemy. Another one. Okay. <laughs> Start walking this way, might as well. There we go. Not requesting any more user input. That's it. Now get oh, out of there, you. Prophet. Head toward the FDR. Almost. Right now, that's done. I usually only takes two shotgun rounds, but I missed a couple. Cause I'm a noob. Right, and I think we are coming towards the end of the level. Also, you also get told to press N at one point now. Do to, to do that. Checkpoint reached. Oh no, I'm not anywhere near the end of the level. God. Right now, I'm just going to hang back here and let these fight. Because it's funny. So, this is. This is sort of the first sort of real encounter you have with the uh, aliens. Um, my my favourite part of Crisis is the Koreans, of um, Crisis One and. It sort of is when I'm killing the sound people, my favourite part, just because it's fun. Oh. 
Although I do prefer the aliens on Crisis 2 than the aliens on Crisis 1. That was not a ladder, by the way. Yes, and they also call the alien squid for some reason. Now I'll switch to shotgun, reload again. Gonna jump over at all? There we go. Do -do -do. There's one. Any more fancy piece of me? Don't I can't get one. Okay, you do. Okay, we also get like three or four now. Thanks. Uh, which is no big deal. Come on. Moving cloak. Or not. Oops, missed twice. So it would help if I was actually hitting you. So now we're coming towards the end, and towards the end, not quite the end though. Well, the level. Um, if you go through this first one, there is something to collect here, but I've already collected it. Uh, okay. Well, that leads to nothing, I've already tried it. Okay. Goodbye. I thought I'll leave you with this actually as well. Prophet, I don't know what you did back there, but the suit signal's going crazy. It's off the chart. I've got interface protocols rolling up on all the lab systems and a bunch of biotech patent documentation with Hargreaves name all over it. It's like some kind of contingency routine. He's built into the suit's deep layers. I've got no idea what this means. Take the FDR. Get up here to the lab. I don't know how much longer I can hold on here. You need to make it fast. <laughs> <laughs>